Aggression and violence are major problems facing today's youth. And the consequences can be devastating. Seven-year-old Gleb from the Moscow region says he was raped by a group of teenagers. Once I came home and found my mother and my little son in tears, my mother said that the boy is turning into a homosexual. Later I found out that these teens waited for him in the yard. They held him and forced him to perform sexual acts. Psychologists say it will take at least a year for the boy to recover from this shock. This is footage of a fight incited by teens in Moscow. Specialists dealing with juvenile delinquency say there is no single cause for teen violence. There is no simple solution. We have to blame the family, the school and overall society for the lack of their attention to children and for the low level of education. Youngsters need attention and respect. When they don't get them, they often turn to violence to express their out-of-control emotions. According to statistics, 120,000 crimes in Russia are committed every year by the minors. Modern teenagers view the world through a prism of TV, computer games and films. Youngsters are dealing with issues of low self-esteem through the use of a certain power. And if adults are not setting a good example, where else can they learn the difference between right and wrong? Many young offenders come from disadvantaged families, but experts say children from well-off families are not immune either. Parents don't spend enough time with children. The media showing violence often becomes their guide. But in the past three years, the level of juvenile delinquency has decreased. This is partly because more organizations dealing with problems of youth are being created in Russia. Like this youth theater, which runs a project called Amnesty of Soul. This annual festival unites amateur theater teams from youth correctional centers across Russia. It's the only event of its kind in the world. All of performers come from detention facilities. Our theatre helps these young convicts to be heard. I'm sure all children are talented and we teach them to open their talents. We give hope to those who have once lost their feet. We show other people that if one has made a mistake, even a serious mistake, it doesn't mean he or she is lost from society. Therapy through theatre works. Some of the convicts have already received parole for good behavior. And though most of the actors will be escorted back to prison afterwards, organizers and participants are unanimous in one thing. Sympathy, a helping hand, and artistic expression can help cure almost any kind of social disease. Natalia Khachlova, RT, Moscow.